Can I add you to my professional network on LinkedIn? This is not a good LinkedIn connection request. Make sure you stay to the end of the video and I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't be sending that message and how you should be using the connection request as an opportunity to build your credibility and well, build your professional network at the same time. My name's Shauna Cole and welcome to Career Interrupted. What are people seeing? What are they learning about you when they look at your LinkedIn profile? You know, you know people are checking out that profile to learn a bit more about your professional self. Are they seeing a profile that really puts your best foot forward, expands on things like your resume or maybe a proposal you put forward? Or is it more like crickets? In this video, you're gonna learn how to build your credibility using LinkedIn. You wanna start with a really solid foundation and that foundation is having an all-star LinkedIn profile. So if you don't have an all-star profile yet, make sure you check out my video, how to become a LinkedIn all-star, and I will link to that somewhere here. Approaching LinkedIn with more of like a servant mindset is going to be key to building your credibility. So rather than approaching the platform as a place where it's like, I'm going to go and message all these people and ask them for jobs, flip that and say, I'm going to show up on this platform in a way that's going to showcase my expertise and my credibility by engaging and offering input that is meaningful and thoughtful. I see so many people making mistakes on LinkedIn by coming across as kind of desperate, either in their profile or in direct messages. Um, so some of the message I will get are like, Shauna, I need a job. And it's like, literally, what, like, what do you expect me to do with that? You have sent me an inbox. I don't know you. I don't know your skills. I don't know what kind of job you... It just looks desperate. The real key in leveraging LinkedIn to build your credibility is by having that servant mindset. So going out, putting great information and value into the platform, engaging in conversations, engaging in content, and then in turn, attracting opportunities to yourself in sort of a more inbound way. So once you start engaging on LinkedIn in meaningful, thoughtful ways and showcasing your expertise, good stuff's gonna come because that's gonna increase your credibility and your visibility. If you're finding this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, give it a thumbs up, show me that you like it. And if you're struggling to find your career purpose, make sure that you take my free quiz find your career purpose and the link to that is in the description. Okay, so today I'm gonna to walk you through three specific things that you can do to start building your credibility on LinkedIn. Again, it's so important that you have a proper foundation in place, so make sure that you've watched my video, how to become a LinkedIn all-star. You have got to know why you're on LinkedIn. Why are you on LinkedIn? Why do you think you need or should be on the platform and this is the important question to ask yourself of any social platform for that matter but for some reason we often like discount that with linkedin but back to basics why are you here are you on linkedin because you want to become a thought leader in a particular space are you on linkedin because you're thinking hey i'd really like to work on my personal brand i want to progress into a leadership role so this is going to be a great place to build my credibility are you on LinkedIn because you're looking for clients? Are you on LinkedIn because you're looking for a job? What are maybe some of the other reasons you could be on LinkedIn? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so whatever the reason is that you are on the platform, you want to target and build a network that's aligned with that goal and you wanna make sure that your interactions on the platform are aligned with that goal. So if you're on LinkedIn, because you're seeking new clients. Don't be hanging out trying to build a network of recruiters or engage on posts related to job search. 
that just doesn't make sense. Instead, you wanna know who is your target client and how are you gonna reach them on LinkedIn? Are you going to do it through adding value and content on the platform? Are you gonna do a direct outreach campaign? I don't know. I don't know what those answers are for you, but foundationally, fundamentally, you must know why you are on the platform in order to start to get results from the platform. There's so much power in commenting. Um, make sure that you're on your profile following uh, following accounts that are aligned to your goal. So whatever that goal is, um, seeking a particular target client, job search or whatever, make sure that you've got some key accounts that you're following related to that, those topics that are sharing great content that you can then go in and comment on. Even if they're your competitors, like finding your competitors is sometimes the best place to comment, especially if they have really big audiences. Those are your target people, right? So you can comment on one of their posts and you, boom, have now been exposed to um, to their audience. So you're getting your name out to a whole, um, a whole new group of people. Now, and you're going like, oh, but isn't that gonna annoy my competitors? So usually no, usually no. What's so cool about the platform is I, in my world in particular, in career coaching, there are, there are like key influencers that I follow. I engage on those accounts regularly and I see kind of this genuine appreciation and engagement and discussion on the post and nothing really sort of negative about it. I, I mean, I, I, what I've observed in terms of my own interactions is most people are coming from a place of abundance and not like we must compete. No, it's typically more about community. So, so who are the key influencers in the space that you're, um, that you're looking to plan? If you're a job seeker, maybe it's a matter of hooking up with a couple of key accounts from recruiters. It's finding the companies that you're targeting for your job search and engaging on those accounts and adding a comment. Okay. The key to commenting on LinkedIn is to not leave a like nice post. That is not a good comment on LinkedIn. You want to leave a comment that's going to actually um, contribute to building your credibility, contribute to building your likability and your, and your visibility as well. So your comment could be, you know, someone says, here are three ways to gauge your ideal career. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to say, have you considered these other two things, right? I might say great post and here I'm going to add a couple of additional extra points, but, but whatever the case is like great post or thumb up, who cares? No, it needs to be more than that. Say something that's gonna demonstrate your credibility and your knowledge and expertise um, in the post. Liking is useless. Liking is really kind of useless because you just end up in like a pool of likes and nobody ever really sees your name. If you comment, if you comment, everyone else who's reading that post is gonna see your name along with your, um, along with your headline. Um, so you have the opportunity there, you've been exposed to a new audience you have an opportunity there for strangers to click and now come and visit your profile. All, you don't even have to create original content. All you had to do was comment. Here's an example of a comment that I left on um, another career coach's um, LinkedIn post. I, as you can see, it's a little bit more lengthy. I'm adding to their point. I'm hopefully demonstrating my own value. And then in turn, I'm building a relationship um, with this person in, in a professional context as well. So who knows, like maybe this ends up being a valued relationship over the long term. Um, who knows, who knows what can come from that. But it's all about coming from a place of, of wanting to, be, to serve the platform and add more value in order to attract people to come to you instead of you going out and like begging them for a job. Action requests should be customized like every single time, like every single time. So if you don't customize your LinkedIn connection requests, you basically get that like, hello, I'd like to add you to my professional network on LinkedIn. Um, so that feels really, really kind of inauthentic and like spammy to, um, to the person receiving your connection request. Um, and it really sets a tone for, for the relationship. You've got a huge opportunity in that connection request to stand out from the crowd. If you're connecting with a recruiter, for example, 
I'm gonna bet, I'm gonna bet like 98% of people do not customize their connection request. By you sending a custom message to that recruiter, you've already stood out from the crowd. It doesn't have to be long or complicated. Hi, I saw your profile. I noticed that you work at this company. Um, here's two things that I think are really interesting about this company. Would you like to connect? Hey, uh, we met at this conference a year ago, back when we were allowed to go in public and not isolate all the time. I'd love to connect with you on my professional network. So add something custom and that really kicks off the relationship um, from a place of like value and not like spammy. It just feels so spammy when you use those system generated messages and it's so inauthentic. So take a couple of minutes and write a custom connection request to build your credibility. If you're finding this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. So think of LinkedIn as a networking event. I feel like this is a really good way to look at it in terms of like what's good behavior and what's kind of weird and spammy and uncomfortable. At a networking event, you probably wouldn't walk up to me and just be like, Hi, you, I'd like to add you to my professional network. I need a job. No, you wouldn't do that because that would be weird and uncomfortable and it just doesn't feel like socially accepted, right? Like it just feels wrong. So start thinking of LinkedIn as literally like your online networking event. You'd like to go to this networking event, LinkedIn, and meet some people, maybe hand out some business cards, introduce yourself, start off with some friendly chat to build the relationship. You maybe want to engage with these people um, on the basis of things that you have in common. Maybe you went to the same school as a recruiter. I don't know. Whatever it is, whatever it is, find, find something in common. Find something to talk about other than what it is you need to get from the relationship. Because I think in all aspects of life, just not like networking on LinkedIn, it feels super weird and yucky and uncomfortable for the person when it's like, you're just here because you want something from me. Try to build a relationship from a place of value and purpose. And yes, sure, at the end of the day, you hope to get something from it. And I think that's perfectly okay. But don't expect day one for someone to be like doing you favors on LinkedIn. Instead, take the step back, build the relationship, build your credibility, build your visibility with the key folks that are going to help you advance your goals over time. I hope this was helpful. My name is Shauna Cole and I want you to build your credibility on LinkedIn. Don't forget to start with a solid foundation that is an all-star profile. Check out my video on that as well. Thank you so much for watching.